Hello, Murderer on the Orient Express tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Wing Commander 2, Vengeance of the Kilrathi. In the last couple episodes, we've learned that there's a murderer aboard who is sabotaging the Concordia's efforts. Who is it? I don't know. But find out one day, gather your clues, and solve the mystery. Observation Deck, TCS Concordia. Blue, please join us. Have you heard about Specialist McGuffin? Somebody blew him away on the calm room. Calm room, the communications room. Do they have any idea who might have done it? Nothing yet. At least, nothing they're letting out. Could this be connected to the explosion on the flight deck? Well, that's possible. Strange things have been happening lately. You get to hear Jazz playing the piano a lot, which is nice. And it all started... Right about the time you came aboard, Blue. Conveniently, I wasn't on board when there was an explosion or a murder. Are you suggesting something, Major Coulson? Not at all, Captain. Not at all. So, you might be able to understand why Blue doesn't like Jazz very much. Jazz is definitely an instigator. He loves to play <laughs> just little tweaks at... Uh, old Ankylo's uh, personality. He still blames us for the death of the, the loss of the Tiger's Claw and all that, and just playing his smooth jazz while insulting us. At least Spirit seems cool, you know. She doesn't seem to hate us like so many people do. To be fair, Coulson Jazz is not the only one that hates Blue. He's just always playing piano, so you talk to him a lot. Um, there's lots of people that think we're terrible. So, you know. I guess we might get used to it. Briefing Room, TCS Concordia. Before we begin, I wish to make a statement. You've all heard... Right, it's Angel. You've all heard about the death of Specialist MacGuffin. Some of what you've heard is true. MacGuffin was murdered by a spy. A traitor who was broadcasting important data to the Kilrathi. We have reason to believe that her traitor is a fighter pilot. That is why the security team searched all of the pilot's quarters this morning. Is that why Stingray isn't on the flight roster today? There will be no loose talk about this subject, Major. Stingray will return to duty tomorrow. With that out of the way, let us get down to business. In a few minutes, the Concordia is jumping to the Goraka system. The reconnaissance, reconnaissance near Niven indicates that the Kilrathi moved through the Niven system. But their real target is Goraka. The rogue Kilrathi colony that joined the Confederation ten years ago. Angel assigned scout wings to clear a route from jump point to Gorakar. Your assignment is last. Blue, you're back in your ferret for this one. You'll be flying a wide scout pattern on the Concordia's port side. Pilots, you are dismissed. Okay, fairly simple, right? Just fly around, scout it out. I wish I had a, a webcam here. I'm just smiling. You guys have no idea what's on this mission. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's go. All right, we fly in our ferret. You know, seems like it's pretty responsive. Let's go. All right, so nav one clear. On to nav two. We're just scouting it out, making sure the uh, Concordia is safe. Oh, look! An unidentified vessel? Kill it! Yeah! Armor still holding. Wait, where'd they go? Enemy ships disappeared and reappeared behind us! You can shoot them while they're invisible if you really want, but it's hard. There he is. Come on. Come to Papa! Okay, they hit me with a missile. So, uh. Everyone say hello to the stealth fighters, guys. Losing my uh, my radar is actually terrible here. It's the worst enemies to lose your radar on. And also your engine. Okay, we're dead. There's no way. I, I have no idea where they are. So, <laughs> the way these things work is uh, they cloak. They almost always try to reappear behind you. 
and fire missiles at you. Which is pretty rude. <laughs> they, um, they don't really have a lot of armor or weapons. But they do have, uh, I think it's dart torpedoes? I don't, or dart dumb fire missiles? I don't know. There you go, that's how you kill them good. But, uh, yeah, we're not doing terribly hot in our first ambush here. I think one of them ran away. Oh, no, it didn't run away. It was behind me all along. Yeah, without having your, your nav system up, um, it's really hard to find them. Technically, we got the kill. We're going to refer to those as Straka, although technically they don't have a name yet. So, everyone say hello to the Straka. We are crushed by them. The ferret is not a great ship for Straka. Oh look, there's more! This is where we die, probably. I got one, that's a good start. Got two! Alright, that was a great start. Now, there's one more that's going to try to ambush us. Oh boy. Basically, if I get hit by one missile, I'm dead. I'm trying to listen for the sound of gunfire to know when to turn. Oh, I hit him! Dang it. Gotcha! Ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha! All right, we got it. <laughs> okay, that is probably the hardest way to fight Straka. Um, normally, if you have your, your nav systems, you can see the red dot when they appear behind you and then turn around and shoot them or dodge a missile. We got to do that with no nav. So, uh, yeah. Thumbs up. B pat yourself on the back if you can pull off that. That was six Straka. With a ship that's barely able to fight them off. Also, no armor once again. <laughs> Affirmative, you are clear to land. Ah, the ferret's a good little ship. <laughs> Holds together. Alright guys, we finally got proof that we weren't lying all those ten years ago. Glad you made it back alive, sir. Look. Look, this is what normally happens in, in the last game. Colonel Devereaux's office, TCS Concordia. What happened to your flight recorder, Blue? Uh, my flight recorder? The flight deck officer, the flight deck officer said it was damaged, that the data disk was destroyed. Uh, I must have taken a hit in combat. But that doesn't matter, Angel. There's Kilrathi stealth fighters in the system. You are joking with me now? Oh, uh, Angel, you don't believe me? Those stealth fighters were real. What am I supposed to do? You have no flight recorder to prove an encounter with these invisible fighters. Damn it! I trashed six of those ships! But there is no proof! I will enter a record that you killed six Drakri fighters. But no one will believe the story of stealth ships. Angel, you have to tell Tolwyn about this immediately! I am sorry, Blue, but I cannot take this to the Admiral. You never believed about the stealth fighters, did you? Not now, and not ten years ago, when they destroyed the Tiger's Claw at Kithrak Mang. Angel, do you really believe I'm responsible for the destruction of the Tiger's Claw? Ah, oh, get some rest, Blue. We'll talk about this later. Damn it, Jeanette! Tell me what you think! Please, Blue. I must go to the bridge. We will talk later. It's very difficult when no one believes you. So we might have to do a little bit of lashing out at our friends, because... You guys saw it! I should I should have this whole episode corrupted because that's the flight recorder, right? <laughs> now, the question may be, did the flight recorder get damaged in the mission? Or after we landed by the saboteur? If there's I mean we have a traitor, right? Maybe trying to discredit us? Remember Prince Takrat Trakath from the M Kilrathi? 
wanted us specifically to be dis disbelieved. Maybe they've had a traitor all along that's been sabotaging our footage. Maybe. I don't know. It's kind of weird to believe that our flight recorder would be destroyed both times the Straka showed up. Anyway. Once, maybe, but twice. I don't know about that. Let's save our game. And uh, next episode, new ship, new system. Probably lots of angry ankylos in the barracks. <laughs> Alright folks, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. You got to see your first encounter with Straka, and we technically survived. Um, they are not really very hard to kill. Like, they're very, very weak. Like, very, I don't know if they even get shields. They are super fragile. They only have lasers, I believe. So they don't really dish out a lot of damage unless you sit there and take it. Um, but the main problem is they ambush you and... If they launch enough missiles that you can't evade, you take a ton of damage. So you've got to be pretty quick to turn around and shoot them. And uh, technically, they come with Drakai variants that are aces that are actually terrible. But we won't run into those for a long time, at least. So anyway, hopefully someone will believe us about these stealth fighters. And I'll see you guys there for the next episode. Thanks for watching and have a great day.